Welcome back. It is I, your host, the one and only Horizon Gamer, and we bring you back to finding love here on Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, last I checked, uh, Sayuri got really depressed and walked out, so we're trying to just finish off showing our poems to the rest of the members. Let's see. It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. <laughs> Natsuki's eyes. <laughs> Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Ooh, gut check. Ooh, maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I, I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's the that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway, Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing even happened. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go, a shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought it had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bathe in sunbeams, and hold my hand. Watch your insecurities in the salty sea, and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail, set you free in my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me be, but if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Natsuki, we need to have a chat. You. Yeah. I felt like I kept bringing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. Beach is a beach. Ah, uh, well, Yuri's take on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's... Jeez, she better not have said anything bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. Ugh. You can really see her doing that too. Make it as readable a simple topic and try to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, I never even got a chance to read Yuri's poem, so honestly, I have no idea what they're talking about. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of a metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Okay, you three, we're all done uh, sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Hey. Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club room. The catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ooh, stagnating is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe? Look, the only different, the only thing different is that Yuri isn't here. 
Ah, it seems you're right. Ah. Sayori is always uh, helping lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown up a little when she's uh, not around. We the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, actually, she wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously, of all the times not to, to not go home with her, you picked the time she's not feeling well. So much for you two being all lovey dovey. Whoa, whoa, now. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayuri. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Ooh. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people? Calm down, guys. I'll talk to her earlier and uh, everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, uh, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so uh, you're not going to answer my question, huh? Let's uh, decide uh, whatever we'll be doing this weekend. Hey, we know what I'm doing. Hey, we know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle all that by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be uh, printing and assembling all the poultry pamphlets. So you're going to be helping me design them. And as for you, Yuri, mm, Yuri, uh, can, you can, um, um, hmm? Guys, can you help me out come up with something for Yuri? Hey, I'm useless. N no, uh, that's not it at all. You're the most, uh, talented person here, you know? Hmm. No, 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 Tsuki's fucking too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I can never get enough. Si <laughs> I guess I never gave Sayuri enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Oh, uh, that may be the case. Uh, but if I can take a, if I can't be also a good leader on my own, then I won't grow up as a person. So Yuri, uh, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should uh, make some banners and decorations to upset the atmosphere. Atmosphere? And about that, I... I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Yuri. The one who is truly useless. Ah, uh, don't say that! In fact, both Tsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. It would really be a version of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting that I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's only some dirty work I can give to you. It's not like Monica's gonna give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tried to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Eri may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So, therefore... He may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. Yeah, you did. How hard could it be to make a, a few decorations anyway? Sounds like more like you're just making excuses for every two. Uh, what are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, uh, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to uh, Eri to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, uh, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I, I'm surprised.
surprise as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just sell this already? Yeah. Harry, uh, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, uh, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going to go with... Suki, Yuri... I'd rather worry about Sayuri. I mean... If it's gonna be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayuri. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayuri was helping her! Jeez, do you really hate us that much? No! Sorry, I didn't mean this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Wow, really? <laughs> Take Sayuri out of the equation, my god. This is weird. Um, let's see. If it wasn't for Sayuri, which would these three be? You're definitely last on my list, Natsuki, so you're already out. So it's either Yuri or Monka. Let's go with Monica. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yay! You picked me! Hold on a second. Y yeah! Monica, you're the one who needs the least help of all of us. Eh, but, but... I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already said you have Sayuri as well. But Ari is the one who, uh... That doesn't matter! You were the one who scared him into picking you in the first place! You're the club president, Monica! You're supposed to be making a responsible decision for the club! Monica, you shouldn't have any ulterior motives in the view of this decision. Ulterior motives? What are you talking about? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Ex excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do, you know. We won't do as good of a job if you make us all work alone. Uh, maybe that's true. Uh, think of the club, Monica. If we want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um, uh, ah. Uh, so are you gonna do the right thing, President? Okay, okay. I get it. <sighs> it's technically most logical for Ari to help one of you two. So, uh, I guess that's what we'll do. Do you have a preference, Ari? Jeez. Which of these two do I... Yuri. Anti... Anti-Natsuki right now. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. M me? Are you serious? Why would you? Natsuki, I can already tell you're about to say something mean. N no, it was just saying. Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Ari. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. That's okay, we'll be able to handle the picking yourself. I mean, yeah. There is said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Ari? Me? I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? <laughs> Natsuki. What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, 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 that's not what I meant at all. Uh, um... Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. Uh, I'm sorry for this. 
I don't really know why Harry picked me. Well, because you guys wouldn't let me make my own choice. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They really go well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. But why? Um... Well, I'm the only one like the amateur. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki is the, isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When Yuri has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayuri. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell she tried to say something Sayuri would say at a time like this. Because Sayuri always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No! I couldn't appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal of nothing. But I'm going to say this. Hmm? You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ah, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to uh, head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Um, eh? I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes? Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay, then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the only one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. Why did I accidentally right-click? I decided not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I can manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Do not underestimate yourself, Harry. I think that will make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? You think that, don't you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, but... Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You want me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh, I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. You don't believe me. She looks straight into my eyes for a long time. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm totally looking, really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah. I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri's going to be coming to my house on Sunday. Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayuri, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, but who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayuri finds about out about this? 
It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. In which case, we have to put it off till next time. This is Rising Gamer on Finding Love. Thank you for joining us here on Doki Doki Literature Club. Till next time, we're signing off. <laughs>